wrestling. A lot of action coming your way in the next hour. We'll be seeing Stan Lane in action against Roy Welch. That's going to be a good match. Also, Bob Armstrong and Jimmy Golden. That's on today's card. Ray the Candyman Candy takes on the Avenger and a return match from last week, our television main event. That's right, a special challenge, really. Ken Lucas and Mr. Olympia take on Dennis Condry and Randy Rose, the main event today. A lot of important things are taking place here in the southeastern wrestling area. This morning, we were notified by the National Wrestling Alliance that Brad Armstrong is one of five young men being considered for Rookie of the Year for the NWA. Once again, Rookie of the Year awards upcoming. Brad Armstrong is one of five being considered for that title of Rookie of the Year. Also, the championship picture has changed quite a bit here in the Southeastern Wrestling area. For the first time, Jimmy Golden has uh, gained the Alabama State Heavyweight Championship. Randy Rose and Dennis Condry back in the driver's seat in tag action. They're the Southeastern ta Tag Team Champions. We'll be talking to them a little later on and uh, reviewing some interesting videotape on these matches. Uh, Robert Fuller has sustained an injury. Uh, we do not know the extent at this time. Possible brain damage uh, at the hands of Mr. Saito. We'll be talking with the Tennessee stud Ron Fuller about that injury a little later on in today's program. Maybe Ron can bring us up to date on some things. Lady midget wrestlers in the area in the very near future. Well, as we said, a lot of action taking place and it's taking place in the next hour. So we certainly hope you'll stay with us. Let's go to the ring now for the introduction of our first match of the day. Here's Al. Your attention, please. Our first match, one fall, 10 minute time limit. Your referee, Marvin Kelly. Marvin Kelly, your referee. Introducing in the corner of my left to 224 pounds from Oklahoma, Roy Welch. Roy Welch. His opponent at 220 pounds from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, Stan Lane. Stan Lane. Stan Lane, of course, holder of the United States Junior Heavyweight Championship. We're about ready for action to get underway. Uh, television main event upcoming special challenge return match. Ken Lucas and Mr. Olympia will take on Dennis Condry and Randy Rose, the Southeastern Tag Team Champions. We're ready for action. Collar and elbow center of the ring. Roy Welch locking up the left arm with the arm drag on lane. Been very cautious going into this match. Lane taking that left arm of Welch. Good reversal by Roy Welch. And Lane goes to the ropes for a means of a break. Roy Welch to, to be contended with in this U.S. Uh, junior category. He's uh, 224 pounds. So it puts him right in the category with Stan Lane. Of course, Stan Lane, the champion. And uh, a lot of outstanding athletes have been uh, challenging Lane for that title, not only here in the southeastern area where he campaigns, but uh, all around the country. Stan Lane has uh, been defending that title very successfully. Any time you put a belt up, of course, or wear a belt, you're subject to a different match every time you get in there. A guy that uh, you may not expect much from can come in there and uh, put on a little uh, extra, even though it's not a title match, and uh, really surprise you. So. All credit is due, of course, to Stan Lane, uh, the uh, junior heavyweight champion, uh, for winning the bout that he wins, because every match is a tough one. Roy Welch here, a veteran of the ring, of course, very experienced and a good opponent for Stan Lane. Welch with a good move to get Lane out of the ring now, and uh, this affords uh, Roy a little break here as he waits for Stan Lane to get back in. It's Roy Welch with the wrist lock. Twist at one time, and Stan Lane now gets down on one knee. Welch continues to apply the pressure, and of course, according to the uh, standings here, Roy Welch has all to gain in a match like this, especially on television, because uh, it could put him on up from the contendership for the uh, U.S. Junior title with a win on television from the champion, even though it's a non-title match. Being on television is like the uh, football poll, you know? Everybody gets a chance to see it that way. Uh, uh, all the officials have a chance to see it on television, but they can't be here in person, of course. So it's a big, uh, big deal to be on TV wrestling, and a good showing by uh, Roy Welch, as Charlie said, uh, will definitely put him up in the uh, category of uh, challenger for that uh, title. Lane is an outstanding athlete. However, he's one you have to watch some shortcuts, as in now, pulling those tights for extra leverage. You'll 
he'll do anything uh, he has to to uh, stay in the driver's seat uh, in a match, and especially when it comes to that United States Junior Heavyweight Championship. Pulling the tights, uh, ring official with a little disadvantage there on uh, seeing what is actually happening. Good uh, way out of the hole. Well, she makes a good move, but right near the ring, right near the uh, side of the ring, and Stan Lane goes out on the floor. And Stan Lane was just complaining about uh, Roy Welch using the tights. That uh, does nothing, of course, but uh, get the uh, referee to look uh, a little bit toward Roy Welch now, so it's not a uh, bad tactic to at least throw that in once in a while. It does keep the referee on his toes. The referee today is Marvin Kelly. show of strength here as Stan Lane and Roy Welch go at it. Ten minute time to the match. We're approaching the halfway mark. Stan Lane now with the arm bar on the takedown on Roy Welch. This is our first match. We've got some coming up that are going to be dandies, Charlie. I'm looking forward to, to all the matches coming up and especially that main event, that challenge match. They went to the time limit draw last week, and uh, we just said that they wanted a rematch. They've got it today on television. That is our television main event. I think it's real exciting talking about junior heavyweights. Lane and Welch, two excellent junior heavyweights. But another, Brad Armstrong, one of five, in contention for the NWA Rookie of the Year Award. And that's uh, exciting news not only for Brad, but for all the fans here in the southeastern area. It truly is, in a very uh, deserving position for uh, Brad Armstrong. Good move by uh, Roy Welch. He comes off the rope, ducks under an elbow, comes in with a high block for the counter on the counter to Stan Lane. Kicks out just in time as the action picks up now. Head Both butt. men have evidently felt each other out. And now they're going at it. Roy Welch trying to wrap him up with a count of one. A count of... Well, he reverses it to Stan Lane and gets the pin. Gets the pin uh, with possible use of the tights there. Your winner. Roy Welch is complaining about that, but to no avail. Your winner of the match, the United States Junior Heavyweight Champion from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, Stan Lane, coming out to join us. Ron Bass, along with Dennis Condry and Randy Rose, the uh, Southeastern Tag Team Champions. Uh, you gentlemen uh, have regained the titles. The way that you uh, gained the titles back is certainly questionable, and uh, the question has to do with Ron Bass. Let's roll the videotape and uh, see what the action looks like in the arena. Bob and Brad Armstrong defending the Southeastern Tag Titles against Randy Rose and Dennis Condry. we want you to see how we... Cut our titles back again. We told you that the Armstrongs was just holding those titles for us because they got a little heavy. And now we have them back. We're going to carry them for a long, long time, Charlie Platt. And watch Bob Armstrong, the cheater. Bob Lou the Breaker. Throat. Lou Breaker calling us cheaters. If you see that, plain as day. And you could, there's no possible way you could have missed that, Charlie Platt. Right in front of your eyes. You know, Bob Armstrong is a wild man, Mr. Platt. Everybody knows that. Time after time, he threw us out of the ring, back into the ring, out of the ring, gouging us in the eyes with his fingers. This, this, everything. But baby, you know what Armstrong did, don't you? They jumped out of the frying pan and into the fire, baby, because we got our belts right back. And uh, once again, uh, me and Charlie me Platt, I'm an un unbiased bystander. I was watching this match all night long, and as Condre Rose says, Armstrong did nothing but break the rules all night long. He threw Dennis Condry out of the ring, fall into the floor, and proceeded to use foreign objects, everything else, on Dennis Condry. But still yet, Condry and Rose are still your champion. So, Bob Armstrong, anything you want to do got countered, and it went against you, my friend. We were ready for him. We were ready. You see this leg here? We, when we get a person down, we know when to keep him down. That is just good wrestling. And look at that. Superior, superior. Did you see that? Saw look Bob Armstrong with the Watch advantage. The fist, Charlie Platt. Look at this. Fist, fist. This is a wrestling. We are wrestling champions. That's what we want to be, but they won't let us be wrestling champions. We try every time we get in the ring with the Armstrongs or anyone to be wrestling champions. But they push us. Look they at push him. over the top. See, right there is what I was talking about, oh, Charlie Flatt. He threw him over the top and proceeded to come down and punch him with foreign objects or whatever. 
Myself being a bystander, I wanted to break this up. Somebody can get hurt like that, Charlie Platt. And I was just there to see that it didn't happen. We uh, appreciate you, Ron Bass. We appreciate you. Look at him. He either turned on me. I haven't done nothing to nobody. And the man turns around and gets Here on me. Here you're going into your tights, pulling out some object that appears to be a chain wrapping it around your hand. Came down and using that heart pump. that they didn't get hurt. Well, here's the bottom line right here, Jack. One, two, two three. That's the bottom <laughs> line. With the outside interference of Ron Bass. No, 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 punch. no, Charlie Black. I've never seen Ron Bass step into the ring at one do, time. He came down to help us just congratulate us on our fantastic win and the Southeastern Champion. One more time, which number's four. So if you'll count. notice real closely, Mr. Saito was no way around. No way around. <laughs> we stick strictly by the rules. There you have your Southeastern Tag Team Champions, and as they say, for the fourth time, Randy Rose and Dennis Condry. More action upcoming on Southeastern Championship Wrestling Stadiums. It's title night. Four championship matches, six matches in all for the Southeastern Heavyweight Championship. Mr. Saito defends against the Tennessee stud Ron Fuller. Southeastern Tag Team title. Dennis Condry and Randy Rose defend their titles against Ken Lucas and Mr. Olympia. At a special event, Bob Armstrong takes on Ron Bass for the Alabama State Heavyweight Championship. Jimmy Golden defends his title against Ray the Candyman Candy. U.S. Junior title match. Stan Lane goes against Brad Armstrong. Plus, a special ladies' midget match, Diamond Leo takes on Barbie Doll. That's Monday night, championship night, four title matches, six matches in all, Birmingham's Balfour Auditorium at 8.30 p.m. Four outstanding championship matches is coming Monday night in Bountiful Auditorium. Uh, special challenge, Bob Armstrong will take on Ron Bass. And Brad Armstrong, the former U.S. Junior Heavyweight Champion, gets his shot at that title against Stan Lane. Let's hear the comments of Stan Lane and Ron Bass. Fred, what seems to be the problem, my son, huh? Your mama's told you, your grandparents have begged not to do it, your adolescent little young lady friends that hang around your room have said, please don't do it, Brad. Don't sign any more matches with Stan Lane. He's too good for you. He's too strong. He's too big. He's too tough. And he is the champion. What's your problem? You know, Stan, while you're taking care of the little punk worms, you know, I got the old man. The old man comes around and he says, Bass, I'm looking for you, my friend. You hurt me once. Let's see you do it again. I don't think you're man enough to do it again. Well, Bob Armstrong, let me point out one thing to you, my friend. I don't run from nothing that walks, lives, breathes, swims, or anything, my friend. And you're not through today yet. Let's just see if you find the big outlaw, my friend. Brad, it's coming Monday night to your chance at the U.S. Junior title. Exactly right. Stan Lane, he is tough. He's a super athlete, otherwise he wouldn't be the champion. But I tell you, I've wrestled him before, and uh, I've watched his matches. I've watched every time that he wrestles, and uh, I might just have a surprise for him coming up. Bob? As far as Bass hurting me, I ain't going to sit up here and lie to nobody. He hurt me bad. There's very few times in your life when you think, am I going to live or am I going to die? But I thought about it when he hit me with that heart punch because my old heart stopped, skipped a few beats. Now, I'm going to tell you something, boy. When I get to Boutwell, all I want to do is come into that building, put on my shoes, and go straight to that ring. I don't want no semifinal matches. I don't want no main event matches, no lights out. I just want to go first match with you. I want to go and see you the first person I see when I get to Birmingham. I want to see Big Mouth Ron Bass across the ring for me because I owe you. Me and Brad fought hard. We won those tag titles. Now Condry and Rose are the champions, just like they predicted all the time. But you're going to pay for it, boy. You're going to pay for it bad, because I hurt, and now you're going to hurt in Boutwell. First match. No time to think about it. Just get in there and get it in Boutwell. <laughs> A lot of exciting action taking place in the arenas throughout the southeastern wrestling area. The midget girls will be on hand in the very near future, and they'll be coming to uh, many places here in the southeastern wrestling area. Wednesday, the 10th of June, they'll be wrestling in Bruton, the National Guard Armory, and on Friday, the 12th, in Sims, Alabama. Uh, with me now, Randy Rose and Dennis Condry, the southeastern tag team champions. And uh, you two uh, are, again, with the titles, but there is a team... Uh, very close on your heels, and that is uh, Ken Lucas and Mr. Olympia. You know, Mr. Platt, we don't want to sit out here and brag and boast. We're not that type of guys. Only thing we like to do is sit out here and state facts. We told you we'd win these belts back, and here they are. Let's hear the comments now of Ken Lucas and Mr. Olympia. Rose and Condry, 
You're looking at Mr. Olympia, somebody that just loves chasing you, Randy Rose, Dennis Condry, and I got a surprise for you. This is one of the surprises right here, and it's Ken Lucas, famous for the sleeper hole. And we also have a second surprise, don't we, Ken? That's right. You know, I've been working uh, with Jerry very, very hard, been doing a lot of workouts, and I'm teaching Jerry the sleeper hold now. It's not 100% accurate, but when we get it right, there's going to be a lot of things changed, Jerry. You know, Condry and... Uh, uh, Mr. Rose is the champions right now. They're in a the driver's seat. But you've got two gentlemen that's breathing right down your back. And we're going to work out hard. We're going to take care of ourselves. And it's going to be two minds thinking as one. And when we get this little sleeper hold 100% accurate, I'll guarantee you one thing. Condry and Rose, you guys be ready because we're going to come at you guys 100%. And remember the name, Lucas and Olympia. Lucas and Olympia. Don't forget it because we're going to be right down your throat day and night till we get those belts. Definitely a team to be reckoned with. <laughs> How about that, cuz? Lucas and the Halloween reject. That sounds a little bit better, don't it? Well, you can breathe and you can run. You can chase black dogs with your little mask on P-head Jerry Stubbs. But it ain't going to work because we're champions and we will remain champions. Your attention, please. Our next match, one fall, 10-minute time limit. Introducing in the corner to my left at 228 pounds from Marietta, Georgia, Bob Armstrong. Armstrong. His opponent at 232 pounds, the Alabama heavyweight champion from Montgomery, Jimmy Golden. Jimmy Golden. All right, Golden, the new holder of that Alabama state title, as we told you a little earlier in today's program. We're ready for action. Main eventer anywhere in the country, Bob Armstrong, Marietta, Georgia. Against that Alabama state heavyweight champion, Jimmy Golden. From behind, it's Golden with the ride. Good move by Arms. Arm twist and drag, and he, oh, yeah, puts that in there. Wants the count. Armstrong is out for revenge today, I believe. He, uh, he's been through some very tough matches recently, Al. Well, you know, he's had uh, leg damage. He uh, had a, a heart punch given to him. He's just really been bombed here lately, and as you said, he is out to prove something here, and Jimmy Golden is uh, one man that just happens to be in the way right now. Let's see how Bob handles it. Very intense Bob Armstrong, side headlock by Jimmy Golden, blocked by Arms, reversal, and Arm uses the fist on Golden. And timeout for Jimmy Golden as he has run into a buzzsaw. In the person of Bob Armstrong right now, referee Marvin Kelly giving the count to Golden to get back in there. The count of 10 is what he has. He's in now. And we get back in it. Jimmy Golden backing up, complaining about the fists of Bob Armstrong. He says, open them up. A boot to the midsection staggers Armstrong. Then what looks like from our hand, just thumb to the throat, did some more damage. And Golden now in the corner. Armstrong! Two vicious and a third shot sends Golden down to the canvas. Bob Armstrong looking to the crowd and a tremendous smash to the forehead. Armstrong with a headbutt on Jimmy Golden. It's all been Bob Armstrong so far in this match. Golden with his hands behind his back and for mercy, no deal, says Armstrong. He comes in with a boot. Armstrong on top of the count of two, but not in time as Golden kicks out. Golden with a hard slash to the throat. Armstrong stunned into the turnbuckle goes Bob Armstrong. Now Jimmy Golden starts working on Bob Armstrong. Into the turnbuckle again. The shoulder got his miss. There's the abdominal trick. Wait a minute, Bass. Bass coming in the ring. Bass coming in the ring, doubling up. There's that chain. There's that chain. Bass is in there. Oh, good. Good move by Arms. Brad Armstrong's in there. The candy man comes in. Bob Armstrong going after Bass. He's got that chain. He's got the chain wrapping it around the hand of Bass and stomping. Did you see that? Bob Armstrong. Now look, 
Let's see him hard for somebody else. Let's see him hard for somebody with that hand now. Bob Armstrong coming by. That uh, interference in that match. And uh, that hand looks like it's pretty well damaged, very sensitive. We'll be talking with a lot of champions on personality profile coming up next on Southeastern Championship Wrestling special championship edition of personality profile here on southeastern championship wrestling we'll be talking about a specific night upcoming as promoted by international sports incorporated where four titles will be defended in one night three regional titles the southeastern heavyweight title the southeastern tag titles the alabama state heavyweight championship and one national title the united states junior heavyweight title you'll notice with me now all champions the tag champions the alabama champion jimmy golden uh, Stan Lane, the U.S. Junior Heavyweight Champion, and we'd like to talk to Mr. Saito, the Southeastern Heavyweight Champion, who will be defending his title against the man who has held that title on many occasions, the Tennessee stud, Ron Fuller. Uh, Jimmy Golden, thank you very much, American Dollar. I like American Dollar. Next, no fooler. You never take my, take my belt, because you are skinny, skinny legs, skinny arms, everything is skinny, because I'm tough Japanese. Coming to Mr. Saito, Al Roberts is standing by in another studio with the comments from the challenger, Ron Fuller. Thank you, Charlie. And Ron, Mr. Saito is always tough, but uh, in a championship situation, it's got to be a little bit tougher. Well, that's right, uh, Al. And uh, I've got a lot more to shoot for than in a normal match uh, after what happened to my brother because of Saito. Uh, I'm certainly looking forward to this championship match. Uh, I've been kind of dinkering around with Jimmy Golden a long time. I'm looking forward to getting the title shot. I noticed that there's four champions there, and I don't see any of them that should be, the belt should be right here, and certainly one of them is going to be here after this championship night. I'd also like to congratulate uh, International Sports Incorporated for putting this together. I know it's cost them a lot of money, and uh, I'm sure Saito's proud of his money, but he's not going to make nearly so much after he loses the title. Comments of Ron Fuller, Charlie. Stan Lane is the United States Junior Heavyweight Champion, and uh, Stan, you defend this title all across the United States. Uh, you've been on tours of the West Coast, uh, up through the Midwestern part of the country, and uh, very soon you'll be defending it against the man who held that title for quite some time, Brad Armstrong. You know, Charlie Platt, I like forward every dawn that comes my way. Every morning, because I wake up, and I look a little better, and I seem to rest a little better every day of my life. I just got through with an overweight, obese, man by the name of Jerry Stubbs. Now I got to go in that ring against a young adolescent guy named Brad Armstrong. Well, I've beaten the guy before. Let me just say this. Bring your fake ID, do your homework early, and tell all your prepubescent girlfriends to not let you stay up so late because you're going against a man, brother. Here's Al Roberts with the comments of Brad Armstrong. Brad, uh, this is a big match, of course, for the title, and also a lot of people be watching this match. Some officials, of course, as you are very well aware of, you're up for Rookie of the Year, but I know that is in the back of your mind when you've got to go against uh, a man like Stan Lane. You know, I'll, uh, me and Dad have been wrestling tag teams a lot lately, and a lot of people have been saying uh, I've been leaning on Dad. I've been using Dad as a crutch, kind of like, but uh, I'm real happy I got this match in one-on-one -on -one competition because I got something to prove to the people as well as to myself. Good luck to you, Brad, in that match. And, Charlie, back to you. The Alabama State heavyweight champion, uh, Jimmy Golden, uh, for a short time has held that title, and uh, he'll be going up a very, against a very capable man. Uh, he'll be outsized by several pounds. We're talking about Ray Candy. Well, that's exactly right. He's a big man, and I'm going to be losing to about 60 pounds to Ray Candy because he is a big man, over 300 pounds, I'm sure. But if you'll take a look at this, this is some kind of pretty piece of equipment. This is the Alabama heavyweight title. That means that I am the best in the whole state of Alabama. And Ray Candy, you have no business stepping in the ring with a champion like myself. You know something that happens to a fattening hog when you get on him and ride him, brother? He starts sweating and he starts blowing up and he'll be out of shape for too long. Before I'm through with you, though, Randy, Ray Candy, you're going to be in good condition, brother. You're going to be in good shape. Now some comments from the challenger, Ray Candy. Ray, uh, what about this match with Jimmy Golden? He's a tough opponent. Well, I want to say one thing. I don't care what kind of animal it is. If you keep trying to get after this animal and hurting him, after a while, he's going to get mad enough to fight. And some of them out, you know, some of them can win, too. And this is one going to win. When I put my Candy Man Splash 320 pounds on this little stick called Jimmy Golden, I'm going to be representing the whole state of Alabama. That's all I got to say about it. Ray Candy, Charlie. 
Randy Rose and Dennis Condry once again in the driver's seat in tag competition here in the southeastern area. They are the southeastern tag champions. Well, first of all, Charlie Patch, you should be honored to be sitting with the finest, the best, the champions right here. That's why we got the belts. We told you the Armstrongs were carrying them for us long ago. Well, they carried them just long enough. We have them back. We're the champions. Now we have a fella called the Pillsbury Doughboy and the Halloween Reject. Says he's in the Olympics. But P-head Jerry Stubbs, we know where you came from. Let's hear the comments of Mr. Olympia and his partner, Ken Lucas. Very big match. You've taken them on before, gentlemen. Uh, this is a championship match, of course, and a night of champions. Does it mean something special to you, Mr. Olympia? Well, that's right. You know, I'm not out here to cut your rose and condry because I know you're a good team. You are a darn good team. But myself and Ken Lucas, every time we step in the ring with you, Condi and Rose, you'll never forget my name, Mr. Olympia and Ken Lucas, because you'll know we've been there. The next successful team is two minds thinking there's one, and myself and Jerry's working out right now. We've got our body and mind correct with our physical mind, and that's the main important thing. <clears throat> we're not going to sell these guys short. Like Jerry said, they are the champions, but we're going to do one thing, and that's we're going to defeat those men. Relatively new team in the Mr. Olympia and Ken, uh, Ken Lucas, but a very formidable team in, in, indeed. Charlie? Should be interesting to see. Four titles defended on one night of professional wrestling. That's our profile for today. Your attention, please. Our next match, one fall, ten-minute time limit. Introducing, in the corner of my left, at 320 pounds, from Atlanta, Georgia, Ray, the candy man, Candy, Ray Candy. His opponent, at 218 pounds, from parts unknown, the Avenger, Avenger. The Avenger taking on the candy man, Ray Candy, on Southeastern Championship Wrestling. Still to come, our television main event. And that will be tag action, Lucas and Olympia against Condry and Rose. Avenger coming out quick against the candy man, the candy man, hard right. The candy man again, unloading on the Avenger, takes his man up. Full body slam, and going on that second rope, this is the candy man smash. And that's it. It's over. Your winner of the match from Atlanta, Georgia, Ray, the candy man candy, in very short time. I'd like to ask Ray to come over and join us. Uh, Ray has been recently a big winner in the elimination match taking place here in the Southeastern Wrestling Area. Welcome back, Ray, and we have some videotape of the uh, closing finals of the uh, elimination match. Let's go into the arena, and here we see you and Ron Bass in the ring. Well... That run bass is a big man. Uh, it's tough too. This elimination match uh, taking place, winner of ten thousand dollars in one night plus the trophy. Uh, bass, as you said, a big man, and uh, you'll see other wrestlers stationed around the ring. When a man is tagged, he must go into the ring and compete. Uh, these is the final uh, few minutes of this big elimination match we're watching now. Right, you can see the test for strength. But you can see the you can see the sweet man took it over. You see the candy man got his strength. I don't think he liked that. See a man like Bass can't cross my name handle that I'm a pushover. But I've been around a while. I know how to take care of myself. Let's see if he uh having some talk with uh, Jimmy Golden, the turn coat. There you go, there you go. The candy man. Put that candy man splash. splash on. Now Golden coming in the ring. Golden's your next hey, opponent. Hey, yes, sir. Put that candy man splash on that bath. They tried to double team it here. Everything they done that night went wrong. They couldn't keep the sweet man down. They thought that because I was a new guy around. They didn't pay me much attention, you know. But I come out on top. Won that trophy, won that money, money feeling good. Can buy more candy for my kids and throw it to them. Look at Jimmy Bowie, right where he should be. Put that candy man splash on both of them. Look at that trophy, that big, beautiful trophy. And the big winner of the night, Ray the That's Candy right. Man Candy. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Charlie. 
appreciate that. I want it for the people. But one thing I want to say, kids, when you see the candy man there, come on out, because you know you got some candy coming. Ray the Candyman Candy will continue with Southeastern Championship Wrestling in just a moment. Lineup of Southeastern Championship Wrestling coming your way this Monday night. Baffle Auditorium, Birmingham, Alabama. Match time is 8.30. Special championship night, four title matches. The Southeastern Heavyweight Championship of Mr. Saito defended against the Tennessee stud Ron Fuller. Southeastern tag titles of Dennis Condry and Randy Rose go on the line against Mr. Olympia and uh, his partner Ken Lucas. U.S. Junior title, Stan Lane takes on Brad Armstrong. And for the Alabama State Heavyweight Championship, Jimmy Golden will defend that title against Ray the Candyman Candy. Let's hear the comments of champion Jimmy Golden. <laughs> Big, tough, 300-pound Ray Candy. You know something there, Mr. Candy? I used to be in the hog-killing business. I am well experienced at butchering hogs. And you know something, my friend? I'm going to take you and cut you up in about four different places, and I'm going to spread you all over that ring, sonny boy. I'm going to wear you out in that ring. I'm going to sweat some of that fat off of you, boy. You've been eating too much candy. That's what's wrong with you. And when it's all said and done, I want you to get down on your knees and call me Mr. Golden, Boss Golden, because this is it right here, baby. This is where it's all at, and it's around my waist. You're too big to get around your fat belly, son. You get ready for a good looking in Birmingham. Ray? Well, it looked like he's too big to wear. He's wearing it on his ability and I sure have the know-how now all I'm lacking is one thing and that is the people behind me I need the people to come out and support me and give me that drive I want the mamas and the papas to bring the kids because when I go out and see all them kids and give them that candy it's gonna make me so happy that I'm gonna go out and whoop golden for the title this Monday night Bowel Auditorium four championship matches match time is 8:30. So we're going to have the Tennessee Stud run for a run. Uh, a lot of things have taken place in the last week here in the southeastern area. A lot of things can affect uh, your brother and your family. Well, that's right, Charlie. Uh, I said all along that I didn't like the idea of a bounty, and it got the job done that the brother wanted done. And, uh, my brother's out of action now, and I don't know how long he's going to be out of action. Even the doctors can't tell me how long. And uh, you've got a piece of film here that I think more than explains the situation. Uh, it's going to show something that, that I think is the most uh, despicable thing. This is not only something that concerns Jimmy Golden and Saito and Bass and the people in the ring. This ends up involving Condry, Rose, Lane. Everybody is up and Golden here. Uh, get rid of that bounty money, and I think he gave it to Saito and paid him off for this. And uh, like I said, I think it's the most despicable thing I've seen since I've been around wrestling. Right now, I don't have a brother to wrestle with. This this match, well, excuse me, this match was supposed to be between you and your brother Saito and Bass. That's exactly Jimmy right. Golden was manager and ended up in the ring. And he ended up in the ring naturally. And right there, you can see Robert had him pinned in the ropes, and Saito came from behind and hooked that sleeper on. And uh, at that point, you can see that Bass and I were outside the ring. Well, Golden just came outside the ring. And what they're doing is trying to keep me occupied until they can hurt Robert. And uh, a sleeper hole is a very dangerous hole anyhow. But uh, if you're in the sleeper hole as long as Robert is here, and you're going to see the referee did his best to get him off his back there. Uh, but he goes right back. He puts that sleeper hole again. And uh, he's just hanging on to it. That's cutting off all the blood to your brain. And, uh, Right here, I knew he was in trouble. I'm trying to crawl or anything I can, but I got two guys on me, and they're just simply keeping him off. Right there, the referee tried again. Uh, Saito rammed him back into the turnbuckles, and he's right back there again, holding that sleeper hole. Now, at this point, Robert's been out probably 30 seconds, maybe even a minute. You can see here, Mr. Olympia's coming to help, but Bass is waiting on him. They, they, I think they had sat and talked about this strategy. They wanted to get this get to this point in the match. They can see Lane's coming. He's just coming to to reinforce Bass and Golden, just in case anybody else shows up to try to get into the ring. Uh, Bass is keeping Olympia out. Both Lane and Golden are working on me at this point, just keeping me away from there. I'm trying to crawl or fight or whatever I can do to get there. Here comes Roy Welch down to help out, to try to help me to get into the ring. And here you can see uh, two more stunts arriving on the scene, Condry and Rose. The damage is being done by you Saito. You believe it. Look at it. He's still got the sleeve. Still got the sleeve. This is very, very, well, 
Not only, I don't, suffice it to say, it's dangerous. My brother's out now. He's not going to be wrestling, and the doctors don't know how long before he'll be wrestling. As you can see, they're just simply keeping people out of the ring. Everybody's doing the best they can to get in there and break it up, but Saito is just hanging on. He's still got that sleeper that he had probably three minutes ago. And now you can see Lucas come down, and at this point, I guess they figured it, that they had done the job, and they certainly had. They accomplished what they wanted to accomplish. And you can see here that everybody's scooting out of the ring there. There goes the last rat, Rose, and uh, at this point, we're going to attempt to wake Robert up. And uh, Kenny tried to wake him up here, and Kenny, as you know, is a master of sleep for us. And uh, he tried his best. We probably spent a good five minutes. We threw ice on him. Uh, we threw water on him. Kenny tried to wake him up four or five different times and, uh, and couldn't do it. Had no luck whatsoever. And then we finally just had to carry him out. Carry him back to the rest of America. You see, Kenny's really working on him and doing the best he can to bring him around. Uh, a lot of people are very, very concerned at this point, and certainly I'm the most concerned of anybody. There I sent the, one of the boys at ringside to get me some water, get some ice or something. And uh, Kenny's still working, trying to get that circulation coming. But when you've got his circulation cut off for that length of time, right here, I'm really panicking. I've got to get him too. Now, I know he's been out long enough, and uh, like I say, we ended up carrying him out of the ring. And, uh, I was talking to Ken uh, after this incident, Ron, and he said that after the uh, sleeper is applied, you only have so much time to wake a man up before damage is done. But in this case, it's, it's, it's very questionable because Saito, as you can see, held that sleeper so well, he long. Held it so long. He held it so long, there's no circulation of the brain. And you guys did it. You guys accomplished what you set out to do, Golan. You've accomplished it. But let me tell you something. I've been around here a long time, Jimmy Golan, and I'm addressing this to you and Saito specifically. I came back to this part of the country. I had one goal, and that was to kick your butt in every kind of match imaginable, Golan, and I did it. But that ain't the goal I got anymore. From now on, boys, it's going to be hurt and pain. I'm going to do whatever I can do. I'm going to send people to the hospital every night if need be. I'm going to send you, Golan. I'm going to send Saito. I'm going to send Bass. I'm going to send anybody and everybody I can. You all are going, boy. Every one of you are going. It's just a matter of time. Tennessee Scrub Run. Kind of very upset about this whole situation, rightfully so. We're about ready for our television main event to get underway. Let's go to the Rangers, Al Roberts. Your attention, please. Our next match, one fall TV time remaining. This is a special challenge match. Introducing, in the corner of my left, at a combined weight of 448 pounds, Ken Lucas and Mr. Olympia. Lucas and Olympia. Their opponents, the current Southeastern Tag Team Champions, at a combined weight of 472 pounds, Dennis Condrey and Randy Rose. Condrey and Rose. Rose and Condrey, the Southeastern Tag Champions, in this special challenge against uh, Lucas and Mr. Olympia. This is a non-title match, of course. Return from last week, it went to a time limit draw and television time remaining on this match. Lucas has been working with Mr. Olympia on that sleeper hold, and uh, they're making an excellent tag team combination. That's all there is to it, Al. They are tough. There's a lot to it, Charlie, than just a match here. There is a lot of bad blood between these two teams. They have respect for each other. Just, I'm not going to say that they don't, but there is a lot of bad blood, and I believe we're in for one the heck of a fight. Andy Rose with a fine elbow misses. Oh, good arm drag takedown by Jerry, by uh, Mr. Olympia on Randy Rose. Ken Lucas has been tagged in, and he is in there now. Yeah, uh, side headlock on Randy Rose. Side headlock. Oh, what is this? Good shoulder smash by Luke coming off. And another reversal by Lucas with the take that hard drive. A lot of speed up there right now, Charlie. A lot of speed shown by Ken Lucas and Mr. Olympia. On Randy Rose, who has not been able to tag in his partner, Dennis Cunningham. Tag is made though with Mr. Olympia. He comes in and begins to work again on that left arm of Randy Ray. Let's twist it one more time. Cutting off a lot of circulation makes that hand and that lower arm very, very useless. For a minute or two. Oh, Randy Rose with a good move. Kicks out. And Olympia 
with the arm drag takedown and the arm bar. Four outstanding athletes in that ring right now. The tag champions Rose and Kindly, Mr. Olympia, and Kenny Lucas. You know, we mentioned, Charlie, that uh, Olympia and Lucas is a relatively new team, but they have come on so quickly. They have come on so quickly that they are now a top notch, make no doubt about it, championship caliber team. Arm twist by Luke. Bars that arm in. Rose. Looking for some sort of leverage on the feet, but uh, Lucas quickly tags Olympia in. And he continues to key on that arm. Headbutt by Randy Rose. Hindley taking advantage of that situation over on the ropes, choking Olympia. This, of course, a return from last week. And there's that headbutt again. Takedown by Condry. Condry keying in on the left arm. Condry applying that pressure, bringing that arm up. Doing a lot as far as pressure on those muscles, bringing it up. First action is match for Condry. He takes a Take down from Mr. Olympia, but Condry is up quickly. Puts him to his partner. And then comes over to Ken Lucas. Now the tag with Randy Rose. Rose comes in. Rose in the middle section. Randy Rose beginning to assert himself now on Mr. Olympia. Those fingers going into the throat of Olympia. Rose and Condry. And again. Rose and Condry determined in this match. They went to a time limit draw last week. Get him. 
muscle. Being carried from our television arena. There you see. Mr. Olympia nailing Chandra with that, with Rose with that board that he brought in the ring. And we'll be back with more action on Southeastern Wrestling in just a moment. Alabama's Bountiful Auditorium, 8.30 p.m., an all-star lineup of Southeastern Wrestling. It's title night, four championship matches, six matches in all for the Southeastern Heavyweight Championship. Mr. Saito defends against the Tennessee stud Ron Puller. Southeastern Tag Team title, Dennis Condry and Randy Rose defend their titles against Ken Lucas and Mr. Olympia. At a special event, Bob Armstrong takes on Ron Bass for the Alabama State Heavyweight Championship. Jimmy Golden defends his title against Ray the Candyman Candy. U.S. Junior title match. Stan Lane goes against Brad Armstrong, plus a special ladies midget match. Diamond Leo takes on Barbie Doll. That's Monday night, championship night, four title matches, six matches in all. Birmingham's Balfour Auditorium at 8.30 p.m. Four title matches. The uh, Southeastern heavyweight title of Mr. Saito goes on the line against the Tennessee stud Ron Fuller. And the tag titles of Dennis Condry and Randy Rose are up against Mr. Olympia and Ken Lucas. Let's go to another studio and get the comments of Mr. Saito, Rose, and Condry. American people know that I'm top Japanese because I love the food of top neck. He's a husband now. Jim Gordon paid me $10,000 American dollar. Now, call skinny brother, long Buddha, and the pencil neck, snap neck again. <laughs> Hold it just a minute here, look at the stuff. It ain't gonna happen, it can't happen. Everybody on national TV saw you. You brought a board in there and you hit my cousin over the head with it. Everybody saw it, baby, everybody. He's out here definitely, I don't have a partner. What you people don't understand is, we just won old sales that I want to fuck it up. Dennis Condry <laughs> and uh, Mr. Saito, you have your chance at Saito for that title. That's exactly right. I've already said how I feel about this situation. But come Monday night in Batwell Auditorium, Jeff, you better bring your 10 grand because you're going to need it in the hospital. You're going to be spending some of that money in the hospital, and I'm going to win that title. I don't know what's going to happen during the evening, but at the end of the evening, I'm going to win that championship, and I'm going to win this one for my brother, man. He's going to be seeing that belt. I'm taking it to him Tuesday morning, and, and he's going to be enjoying it just as much as I am. Mr. Olympia. <laughs> uh, you know, Charlie Platt, what goes around comes around. It may not be the day after. It may not be the week after, but, buddy, what goes around comes around. And Randy Rose, I loved it. I loved every minute of it. Ken, did we love it? We love it, don't we? You ain't kidding, we love it. You know what's real funny, Charlie? Do you hear what Condry said? He says, I may not have a partner. Well, that's just real tough, Condry, because I'm going to tell you one thing for sure. Retribution's a very great thing. Whatever you do to somebody, you get paid back for. That's in the laws. But I'll guarantee you one thing. When myself and Mr. Olympia come to get you, we don't care whether you have a partner or not because we're going to come to beat you. <laughs> Four title matches in all this Monday night. Birmingham's Battle Auditorium at 8.30. action today on Southeastern Championship Wrestling, uh, briefly running down what has taken place uh, in that opening match. Stan Lane, your winner, uh, Bob Armstrong, Jimmy Golden, interference on that match, Ray Candy over the Avenger, and you saw the uh, outcome of that last tag match. A lot of action coming your week, uh, way next week. Certainly hope you'll make your plans to join us.